Welcome back, fifth grade. Today we're going to play Workplace 3D, Target 1. This is similar to some games you might have played in the past where you're adding two numbers together with a goal in mind. Um, same with this one, except for today we're going to be adding decimals. So decimals that have values in the tenths and the hundredths place. And our goal is that when we add them together, we get one or as close to one whole as possible. So you're going to be playing with a partner. Um, this is one of those games that it doesn't really matter who goes first because you're kind of going to be playing this game at the same time. But it's going to be important that you use your partner to help you. So you're each going to have your own sheet and your partner is just going to put their score on your sheet. So when I go to play, I'm going to draw six cards. So I've got a nine, six, three, nine, eight, get one more and a one. So once again, we talked about my goal is to get one whole. So I like to start in my tenths place and try to get something that's going to add up to nine so that whatever I put in my hundreds place, I can get to be something that goes over. So as you can see, I'm thinking in my hundreds place, I'm going to do a nine and a one because nine plus one is going to give me 10 and I'm going to be able to carry that 10 over to my my tenths place, sorry. So I put a six and a three, knowing that I'm gonna have that one. So I've actually got two values that are gonna add up to be one whole. So once again, I was thinking that whole time about my strategy. So I have 69 hundredths plus 31 hundredths. It's gonna give me a sum of one whole. Now that's really good because the goal is to get as close as you can to one whole. So to figure out my score, I'm gonna find the difference between one whole and my score, which this one's pretty easy to see. And you might need some scratch paper. And so my score is zero. So right now I'm doing really good. So I'm gonna go over to the next game board to see what my partner's gonna be. And either I can write it on my partner's page or they can write it there, but right now we know my score is zero. So my partner's gonna choose six cards just like I did. So they have a three, two, eight, nine, another nine, and a three. So remember, I'm looking for things that I can put in the tenths place that add up to one whole. So would add up to 10 so I could carry. I don't have anything that's gonna add up to nine, but I've got an eight and a two, which will be able to carry over. And so since I already am gonna be over one whole, I'm gonna use the lowest, the least number I have, the numbers with the lowest value, so that I don't have very much extra in my hundreds place. So I know I'm gonna go over one whole, but not by much. So I have 83 hundredths plus 23 hundredths. So I know three plus three is going to be six thousandths. Eight plus two is going to give me that one hole I need. So once again, to find my score, I'm going to take what I added up together and find the difference between one hole. So my score is six thousandths. So my partner is beating me, but not by much. So when we add these together, it's so important that we are always thinking about a strategy in mind. It's not so much about adding decimals together, but really trying to use what we know about place value and about decimals to try to get as close to one whole as we can. So as you're working, make sure you are sharing your strategy with your partner and you guys are learning how best to do this. Have fun.